Oh, can you believe we're finally in the black? That's because you and me make a great team. Hmm. I think it's mostly down to you and your hard work. Yeah, I know. I'm great, me. Not just the business that's doing well, though, is it? You'd have thought you'd be fit enough to run that race today. What, you're running it too? I've not forgotten. Morning. Mm. Morning. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. So, let me guess. Valentine's gift from the lover boy. You're joking, aren't you? Old Skinflint over there never even got me a car. <gasps> Robert! What? Why should I buy into all that crass American commercialism? I get you. All political when it suits you. Yeah, people always say stuff like that when they're too tight to put their hand in the pocket. Poor Michelle. Ah, well, don't worry about me. I'll just help myself to a few quid out of his wallet when he's not looking. <laughs> oh, uh, did you go and see Carla last night? How's she doing? Yeah, it's weird, seeing her looking so frail. Mm. Well, she's one of the lucky ones, isn't she? Not everybody manages to find a donor. Yep, it's true what they say. You never know what's just around the corner. Makes you want to live every day like it's your last. Some mac and cheese for lunch, just. Come in. I'll be uh, with you in one second. Hi. Dr. Gadash has been hogging you all day, so just thought I'd pop in, say hello. See if you fancy a brew. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alex. You're never the new doctor. <laughs> well, this passes otherwise. Um, though I prefer Ali these days. I no idea. You were a, a GP. <laughs> well, trainee. You see, in my mind, you were still in your teens. D did you say there's a, a bro going? Uh, yeah. Oh, Michelle must be over the moon. A son has come to work in Weatherfield. Yeah, yeah I doubt it. Um, she doesn't know, and we've not really seen each other for years, so... Sorry. Never mind. I did. So, we'll get you home. So, if you didn't come to Weatherfield to be near your mum, what does bring you in? It's just a placement. Right. You must be glad, though, that she's around. Gives you a chance to reconnect. I thought she'd have moved away by now. <clears throat> I know her and Steve split up. She works in a bistro at the end of the street. Lived around the corner. Right. So you said you're yeah, not on good terms, but maybe now is a good chance to offer out the olive branch. And why would I do that? Because she's your mum. Does she even know you're a doctor? Not unless she's been stalking me. Oh, trust me, she will have been keeping track one way or another. Well, not all mothers are that bothered either way. No, I got the odd letter, I got a Christmas card, birthday card if I was lucky. You know, I think the only barber knows more about my life than she does. You're all right, stunner, when you let me do your makeup. 